Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host and head admin, Joe Zamora here. And with me, I have the coach of the Pennsylvania Pilots. How's it going, guys? Hey, Calvin, how's it going, man? Uh, not too bad, yourself? Good. Just enjoying the Sunday. Yeah, me too. All right, man. Doing well, the day with the family. Oh, yeah. It's always a good day. Um, I'd like to ask you, what made you choose this logo? Uh, you sent me a uh, Salvali one before, and then you switched it to this one. Well, uh, I'm a part of another group uh, called Couch Fight Games, and uh, I just kind of wanted to represent them, and that's the kind of the logo my group decided on. Oh. So uh, we're now the PA Pilots. Oh, well, I'm okay. the PA Pilots. <laughs> so basically the group is based off PA Pilots? Yeah. Are y'all Air, Air Force or anything, or... Yeah, just uh no, cool. uh I don't the I don't know why they decided on that name, but uh I'm I'm actually the only one from PA on the team on that group, but it just kind of sounded right. Okay, that's cool. And um, y'all y'all sat on this one, but for draft leagues, would you ever change your logo, or this is just uh I wanted to represent type thing? Uh well. Yeah, it's kind of. I just wanted to represent the team, but uh, with our draft league that we do, uh, everyone changes their logo every every season. So I'll probably end up changing eventually. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, what is your draft history? Um, it's not very long. Uh, I've done. We're probably three draft leagues now. Um, it was a two doubles, one of a VGC. And then we just finished up a little cup draft league. And uh, I, of the four seasons I've been in, I've been in the finals twice and the semifinals once with one championship. Oh, that's nice. I, I also have the uh, getting to the finals itch. And then I only have one championship as well. I've been to the finals like three times and semifinals okay. plenty of times. So. I know that feeling to only have one. Yeah, you always choke right there at the end. That's <laughs> what I do. Um, how do you feel PML draft will be different from other drafts you've been in? Um, I think there's a lot more experience in this in the PML drafts. Um, so there's that. Um, and also, this is my real first experience with singles. So uh, I'm kind of... You know, unsure about my single strategies so far, but we'll see what I draft and see how I do, I guess. Okay. Well, that also leads me uh, to the next question here. Uh, what Pokemon are you expecting to pick up in the first round? Uh, I'm hoping to get Rillaboom. Um, I kind of have a good strategy built around him in my mind right now. But being so low in the draft order, I don't know if I'm going to end up with him. Well, as long as you're in front of the Rillagoons, I think you got a good spot. <laughs> I'm actually the the spot right behind him. So. Oh man, well, I can't promise you he'll land to you because he he said definitely that's the one he wants. And... Yeah, I figured. So I, I, I'm I've I've been looking at some other stuff, but um, that's the one I'm looking at right now. Understandable. Yeah, Rillaboom has been a big boon since he's gotten that uh, grassy terrain. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about the draft tiers? Have you had a chance to look those over? Yeah, um, I have, and I'm feeling pretty confident um, with the picks I want. I think there's some sleepers in C tier that people might not see coming that I really enjoy using. So, uh, or I, not C tier, uh, 5 tier, the lowest tier. Oh, okay. I was yeah. thinking tier 3 when you said that. I was like... <laughs> um, is there any Pokemon you would switch tiers? Um, I think Togedemaru, uh, he's tier 5. I honestly think he should be up a little higher. He's got um, a really interesting strategy I've seen with him with uh, Sturdy and a Southberry and Revenge. Oh, really? And he, hits, he just hits super hard in singles with that. Wow, I'm pretty sure no, no one I knew thought about that. That's very interesting, though. Yeah, I actually used him one year for one of my draft leagues. 
and I was able to get almost a complete sweep just with uh, a revenge <laughs> wow. uh, Salisbury combo. That is wild. How does revenge work exactly? So that's where the lower your HP is, the more power it is. It's a fighting type move. Oh. And then with the Salisbury and Sturdy, he'll get knocked down to one HP, get a speed boost, so he outspeeds a lot because he's already pretty fast. So and then just hit super hard. So it's kind of like flail, but fighting type? Yes. Oh, okay. That's a very interesting tech. I need to look more into stuff like that. <laughs> um, what's your favorite battle strategy? Um, honestly, I just, I just kind of hit hard and hit fast. Because I know, uh, especially in singles, there's a lot of setup. And I just don't want to allow people to set up on me. Do you ever try um, to do the setup yourself? Yeah, I really like running a cursed Snorlax um, in singles. So if he gets set up, he's pretty much in, unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Especially with that recycle, getting that yeah. berry back. Well, um, knowing that's your strategy, is there a specific mon you're trying to get for it? Um, well, I was honestly my my goal I was going with was I was trying to get Rillaboom. To set up Grassy Train and then draft Woobat or Swoobat and uh, do a simple with the Grassy Seed and then set up Call Mines and sweep with him. Okay. So even though uh, Swoobat's flying, I know Halucha is flying and he gets the seeds off. So they don't have to be touching the ground. No, they do not. Because I feel like Halucha was a special case because I know it's flying, but he's on the ground when he does it, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't really get why they're allowed to use the seeds where they don't... Because if they're not, they're flying, they don't get the health back from the grassy train either. I, it just allows them to activate the, the seeds. Yeah, that, I always thought that was weird. But I was like, okay, well, the game, the game knows best, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um... And then that leads us to our final question here. Uh, is there anyone in PML that you're excited to battle against? Um, I don't really know. I haven't really looked up too many people in PML. I've watched, you know, some of the videos and stuff. But I never really followed it too much. Mm, understandable. When any, uh, well, one guy based it off of uh, a logo he saw. Okay. So, any, uh rival PA pilots out there? Yeah, my uh, biggest rival is probably uh, my buddy Jack. Um, he, he's the one who invited me to the group and we grew up together. So there's always just been a rivalry between us. Mm, I got you. Well, all right, man. Anything else you want to say to the fans before you're finished here? Uh, just uh, wish me luck and... Uh, Hop on the bandwagon, PA Pilots. We're going to take the championship this year. All right, man. Well, I'm excited to talk to you again after the draft. So we'll see you then. All right. See you then. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.